next problem is about the water jet problem the problem is a water jet problem okay you are giving given you two jets okay you have given two jets okay the jets have uh, one jet has four gallon of water and the second jet has three gallon of water then okay a pump is used to take out or take inside okay the water a pump which has unlimited water okay which you can use to fill the jet so the jet is empty it has size four gallon and three gallon and we are using the pump to fill the jets okay and the ground okay on the ground on which the water may be poured okay so neither jug has any measuring okay marking on it so no jug have any marks like one gallon two gallon or three gallon okay just they are simply four gallon and three gallon jugs that's all so the question is how can okay you get exactly two gallon of water in four gallon jug and uh, this is the pro main problem main idea okay so to solve this problem again okay, we are considering that let x be the uh, represent the content of water in four gallon so in the four gallon the, the first jug okay it is represented as x with the water okay size so size of the okay water inside the first okay jug the si this is why is the size of water okay or the content of water or you can say uh, the uh, value of the water you can think exactly in program so you can think x is the value of water inside four gallon jug y is the value inside okay uh, the three gallon jug so these are two variables x and y which will take some value one one gallon two gallon three gallon and so on okay so now we will write a program in python to define a set of operations that is called rule a set of rules okay one by one that will take uh, us from one state to another state so every state is represented by these filling of water okay inside the jet so we will start from here okay start from initial state both of the jets are empty there's no water inside so x equal to zero y equal to zero because they have zero gallon of water inside then we will go for okay a goal reach any of the goal state we want to start from initial state zero zero to the final state let's say final state is x equal to 2 the first jug is filled with 2 gallon of water but the second one is 0 okay maybe uh, the first one is filled with 2 gallon of water and y is equal to 1 the second one is filled with 1 gallon that's okay also we can have final goal like the, this one okay uh, x equal to 2 y equal to 2 that's okay x equal to 2 so this is the condition okay we must have always two gallon of water inside the first jet and y equal to three the last one so we y could have zero one two three gallon of water but x always must have two gallon of water so we want to start from this initial state to any of these okay to any of these state so this is our problem we define the problem let's move so find the minimum number of the steps okay so we want to find the minimum the shortest path from the initial state to the final state okay as per ai so minimum number of state the shortest path okay to reach okay any of the above mentioned goal this one so we are starting with the okay what is your problem x putting the value okay x y which is inserted by the user okay, x and y which will be initialized right and thereafter the user will insert some water used by inserting the values 
for x and y. So while true, okay, the condition starts from here. While true, while loop will run. Uh, rule, okay, number. Rule number. The user will insert the rule number. Let's say rule number one, two, and so these are rule numbers. See here. So if the rule number, okay, is one. then x uh, if x is less than 4 then it will write x equal to 4 rule number 2 is okay uh, if rule number is equal to 2 then uh, if the rule number is equal to 2 check the condition whatever is inserted by the user okay here it will be considered as rule number variable and that variable will be match, okay, or logically, okay, equalize with the different two numbers. So in the second case, rule number equal to two, equal equal to two. Uh, if it, it will check again another condition, okay, if y is less than three, then it will put y equal to three. If uh, rule number is equal to five, then it will check condition if x is more than zero okay x is more than zero let's say one two and so on so it will put x equal to zero if rule number is six okay equal equal to six okay then it will check the condition if y is more than zero then it will put y equal to zero also okay, if the rule number is seven then it will say it will check the condition if x plus y the water in the first jug and the second jug together is more than or equal to 4 this condition and okay this condition y is more than 0 if these conditions are true these two condi conditions then it will put x equal to 4 and y equal to y minus 4 minus x if rule number is equal equal to 8 okay, uh, then it will check another condition like if x plus y more than equal to 3 and x more than 0 then it will put x equal to x minus 3 minus y and y value is 3 okay so this is okay Double operation inside that's okay also rule number nine okay here uh, it will check the condition if x plus y is less than or equal to 4 and okay, y more than 0 then it will put x equal to x plus y this one and y equal to 0 this one uh, also, finally, okay, it will check rule number. If rule number is equal to 10, then it will check the condition x plus y is less than or equal to 3 and this one x more than 0. So it will put x equal to 0, this one. And also y equal to y plus uh, x plus y that's all so these are okay different conditions that will be checked and put the values of x and y okay as per the requirement so it will print finally x and y in line number 47 we have another condition the condition if x equal to 2 then say we will arrive at the goal otherwise the process will be repeated many times okay until we arrive x equal to 2 this result so if x equal to 2 we will print the result is a goal state we want it to have x equal to 2 if you remember okay uh, here x equal to we wanted to have okay uh, where is this one how can you get exactly 2 gallon of water in the 4 gallon jet so this is x so if x equal to 2, this means we have arrived at the goal, final state.
So this is the okay that state. And at that time we will break out of the while loop. That's all. Okay. So if you run the program, okay, it will be like this way. What is your problem? Enter the value by the user, okay? To okay. Let me run it so that enter x. Let's say I put x equal to two. Okay. So and y equal to zero. So uh, it is not still the goal. Okay. Let's say x equal to 2 and y equal to okay, 3. Okay. So now we have arrived the final state x equal to 2, y equal to 3. The result is a goal state, this one. Except okay, this these two values, okay, these are not the goal state. So it will repeat again and again. 